here we have what's known as a Sputnik weather station an item manufactured here in Germany an item which I picked up at one of my favourite boot cells it's in fairly good nick and not 100% good the case has got one or two little nicks and a little crack mark but on the whole it's not, not bad it consists of thermometer, hygrometer and barometer as I say it's like the old the old Sputniks. You occasionally see, see these, these are probably I don't know, 60s, 70s they sometimes appear on eBay but anyhow I thought I'd put it on something to to show uh, you get the size of it so it's not enormous looking at the bottom you have your barometer part and it's arranged so that the pointer well I can find it there's the actual pointer it's reading 10 24 10.24 is the reading it's got your normal things on there very dry you go the other way you've probably got change yeah under there you've got change and further round you've got stormy as you can see the reading at the moment is very favourable a good sign it's moved, a, it's moved a little bit now it's now 10.26 also you've got is a pointer on the side where you can move it round and it gives an indication of what it was set on this is normal with barometers you have a means of showing what the, the pressure was but by putting another pointer on it and at the moment do it so the lights in full view the pointer now shows what it is at the moment and what happens the next day it might have moved so you can see whether it's rising or falling and to what extent and right now, you look inside, it's a bit dusty, but I'm not taking it apart to clean the dust. So let's suffice to say that we can see the innards. Normal barometer movement, aneroid movement. Aneroid means without liquid. You've got your flat spring there with a curved spring. Your corrugated vacuum chamber and your linkage it is identical to a normal android barometer uh, that would be the normal star like on on a wall this one is just slightly modified to fit into this case anyhow that's the the barometer turn it round you've got your thermometer which is graduated in Celsius and Fahrenheit the reading at the moment is 23 degrees Celsius and on the Fahrenheit scale which I'm more familiar with about 80 what's it 70 60 it's about 73 I get about 73 which would be about right yeah let's see thermometer the way that works it has a metallic spring-like arrangement in they can't really see it 
that it's um, composed of a bimetallic spring and that act, acts to temperature change and gives the reading out on the pointer. The last part of this is the hygrometer. These I find never show the exact the exact reading. They all vary a bit, but um, relative high. It gives, as I say, from twenty to a hundred. Hundred would be virtually ringing wet. The normal is at the top. Well, as you can see, um, it's showing a bit on, on the dry side, which is probably about right. Because indoors heat heating on and that central heating tends to dry the place out. The other bits and bobs on here are purely decoration. It is, as I say, made to look like the old Sputnik of years ago. The ventilation holes are there so that the other temperature can be read properly and also the hygrometer. The barometer part doesn't need that um, air pressure or getting through any little nooks and crannies. But anyhow, there's the instrument. It's a nice decorative piece to have on on a mantelpiece or a windowsill. I hope you've enjoyed. Any comments please make. Any questions please make. And I'll try and get, well I'll try, I will get back to you. Once again, thanks for looking. Please subscribe. Thank you again.